Number six, what is the value of the limit shown below? Now looking at this problem, we can't use direct substitution. If we did, we'll get four squared minus 16 on the bottom. Four squared is 16, 16 minus 16 is zero. So getting a zero in the bottom of the fraction will make the expression undefined. So we don't want to do that just now. So let's see what we can factor. In the numerator, notice that we can factor a two. Eight divided by two is four, negative two x divided by two is negative x. In the denominator, we have a difference of two squares. So to factor it, we could take the square root of x squared, that's going to be x. The square root of 16 will be four. One of them will be plus, the other will be minus. Now notice that four minus x and x minus four, they're not exactly the same right now, but they are similar. When you see a situation like this, what you wanna do is factor out a negative one. If we factor out a negative one from four minus x, we could put that negative in front. Negative one times two is negative two. The positive four will become a negative four and the negative x will become a positive x. So we could put that positive x in the front and the negative four in the back. We could switch the order. When you're adding two numbers, the order doesn't matter. Five plus three and three plus five is still eight. So you can think of this as plus four, four plus negative x, which is the same as x plus negative four. So now at this point, we can cancel the x minus four terms. So we can cancel the x minus four factor and we'll be left with the limit as x approaches four of negative two over x plus four. So now let's replace x with four. We could use direct substitution at this point. So it's gonna be negative two over four plus four. Four plus four is eight. Now, we can reduce this fraction. If we divide both numbers by two, negative two divided by two is negative one, eight divided by two is four. This will give us the final answer of negative one over four. By the way, to check this answer, if you're allowed to use calculators on your exam, you can plug in a number that's very close to four. So let's say if we plug in 4.1, eight minus two times 4.1, that's negative 0.2. And then plugging it into the bottom, 4.1 squared minus 16, that's 0.81. If we divide negative 0.2 by 0.81, we'll get negative 0.24691. That's actually very close to negative one over four, which is negative 0.25. As we get closer and closer to four, the limit will approach this value. So for instance, if we were to plug in 4.01 into this formula, this will be eight minus two times 4.01 over 4.01 squared minus 16. If you plug that in, you may wanna use an extra set of parentheses for the numerator and the denominator when doing this. If you plug that into your calculator, you should get this negative, negative 0.249688, which is very close to negative 0.25. So as you can see, as we plug in values that get very close that get closer and closer to four, the limit will approach this value. It will get closer and closer to negative 0.25. So eventually it will converge to negative one over four as you get closer and closer as X approaches four.